Hausha is one of the most important fossils from the late Ediacaran period because it provides the earliest direct evidence of true muscle tissue in animal history. Discovered at mistaken point in Newfoundland and dated to about 560 million years ago, Hausha appears tens of millions of years before the Cambrian explosion, at a time when most organisms were soft, passive, and lacked clear tissues. What makes Hausha exceptional is the preserved pattern of regularly arranged, branching fiber bundles across its body. These fiber sheets match the geometry expected from cnidarian grade musculature, showing that this organism could contract parts of its body using organized muscle bands rather than relying only on diffusion-driven or static body plans typical of many Ediacaran forms. Hausha likely lived as a simple, sessile animal attached to the seafloor with a holdfast, supporting a stalk and several radiating lobes. These lobes housed the muscle bundles that allowed controlled contraction, probably helping the organism adjust its feeding posture in gentle currents or manipulate its tentacle-like structures to capture suspended organic matter. Although its exact relationship to living cnidarians is unresolved, its body organization sits comfortably within the range of early Medusozoan relatives, which include modern hydroids, jellyfish, and sea anemones. The significance of Hausha extends far beyond its anatomy. It demonstrates that the developmental and genetic mechanisms needed to build muscle cells had already evolved before complex animals diversified in the Cambrian. This fossil pushes the origin of contractile tissues deeper into the Precambrian and challenges the long-held assumption that active movement arose only during Cambrian ecological shifts. Hausha shows that the capacity for coordinated muscle-driven behavior was already present, even if the ecosystems of the time did not yet favor fast-moving predators or large, complex animals. By revealing muscular tissues in such an early organism, Hausha provides a crucial piece of evidence that the foundations of animal physiology, especially the ability to move with intention, began developing quietly in the Ediacaran oceans long before the explosive radiation of life that would shape the Paleozoic world.